This product is perfect for students to practice their multiplication facts. It is Valentine's Day themed, so it's perfect for February. I have included multiplication facts uh, worksheets from 0 to 11 and basically students will solve the problem inside the hearts or the flower and they will solve it and then they will color in the answers either in pink or red. I do have zero on here just because I find that some students really need to practice it and understand that anything times zero is zero and they will see that this entire heart will be pink. So then I have this other heart uh, where they will multiply everything by three and multiple hearts. It's just kind of fun for them to practice. Either they can do this as a do now or you can have them do it in centers or for homework. I have a early finishers folder for my students and, and these are just some coloring pages I have in case you want it for recess. But I have a early finishers uh, folder for my students and I place some activities in there or worksheets in there that I find they need practice based off of their uh, assessment data and every time they finish something early, they can go into their early finishers folders and work on that. Now, here are some answer keys as well. And these answer keys are, you know, you can use them however you want. You can have like maybe an answer key folder and once students solve a worksheet, they can go and check in that folder and uh, check their work or you can put them up on a bulletin board. It's really up to you. I just have them on there because sometimes I do have a, like a answer key. I think I put them on clipboards and um, when students finish, they would just go to the clipboard and check their work and uh, kind of grade their own paper just to, you know, um, check if they had it right instead of coming up to me. Um, so here I also have some resources that you might need. Really consider that uh, individual student folders or student binders where they have their activities in there and they can work at their own pace. You might also like uh, the life cycle of an avocado and the life cycle of a mango activities because it is, uh, it is great for spring and summer or if you're starting garden club. All right, well, thank you so much for buying this resource, and I really hope it was helpful.